Hello today, welcome back. I hope that you're having a lovely day wherever you are. And if you're here for the first time, welcome to this channel. So I'm here with an update for you. This is breaking news. Prince Harry will be back on the field. So the Duke of Sussex today has officially announced that he will host the Centabale Polo Cup in Aspen, Colorado to raise critical funding to support vulnerable children in Southern Africa impacted by poverty, inequality, and HIV AIDS. So he said this in a statement. Our refocused mission at Centabale is about addressing the most immediate needs of vulnerable children in Southern Africa, helping them access vital health services, receive necessary care, and build skills to be more resilient and self-sufficient in the future. We are incredibly grateful to our gracious host in Aspen, to ISPS Honda, and many other sponsors, and to everyone involved in making this year's match not only possible, but most importantly as safe as possible for all the protection of donors, players, staff, and the entire community. The Centabale Polo Cup is critical to securing the funds needed to advance this important mission, and I'm thrilled to be able to support Centabale both in person and financially through a separate charitable donation to meet this immediate need. This is one of the several donations I plan to make to charitable organizations, and I'm grateful to be able to give back in this way for the children in communities who gravely need it. So this was the Duke of Sussex's statement, who is a co-founding patron of Centabale. So as many of us know, Centabale was founded in 2006 by Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and Prince Seiso of Lesotho. Prince Harry met Prince Seiso on his gap year there and was moved to help vulnerable children and young people in the country. Prince Harry spent his gap year there in 2004 and he founded this organization in 2006 and according to their website, they say we help the most vulnerable children in Lesotho, Botswana and Malawi get the support they need to lead healthy and productive lives. Centabale works with local grassroots organizations to help these children, the victims of extreme poverty and the HIV AIDS epidemic. Together we are making a big difference to these children's lives and we can do even more with your help. So the vision of Centabale is that all children and young people in Southern Africa are empowered, healthy and resilient and their mission is to enable vulnerable children and young people to thrive. So this is close to Prince Harry's heart as I said. When he spent his gap year there in 2004, he was moved and in the end, he ended up together with Prince Seiso in 2006, founding Centabale. And the name as well holds a special place in the heart. Centabale means forget me not in Sesotho. And the name was chosen as a memorial to the charity work of Diana, as well as a reminder to all to not forget the nation Lesotho or its children. So this was Prince Harry who spoke of that at the concert for Diana. So Centabale, as I said, aims to combat the issues of poverty and HIV and AIDS, as well as helping those orphaned children and work with vulnerable children in their communities, empowering them to reach their full potential. So as we know, Prince Harry, he has been, he is an avid sportsman as well. He loves polo. So it's great to see that they have taken these steps and by the way, there is more to this update. So for many charities last year, including Centabale, the pandemic resulted in the cancellation of many fundraisers. So today's tournament will be smaller due to restrictions, but Harry has also pledged to get this to donate a portion of the proceeds from his upcoming memoir by committing $1.5 million. So he is, as you say, putting his money where his mouth is. And we are happy to see that he is not only, as he said, going to support in person through participating in the polo game, but he is going to make a difference through his own personal charitable donation to meet those immediate needs. So this is wonderful. Um, it's great to see the Duke of Sussex doing something that means so much to him. Um, he wants to help those young children. They really did change him when you see the videos go back and watch and see how when he had his gap year there, he found a whole new 
new purpose for his life. So this is, you know, not grandstanding. This is something that is so dear to his heart. And by the way, um, for those of you who'd like to, I will leave a link in the pinned comment for any donate links to Santa Bale. Be sure to check that out. And kudos, congratulations to the Duke of Sussex, as well as the Duchess of Sussex, using their platform to, you know, meet the needs of people who are in need, especially those vulnerable children in Southern Africa, and helping them to build skills. I think that's the most important part of this statement. You know, it goes so far beyond simply giving. It is helping them have this stepping stone to building their lives and helping them become self-sufficient in the future. That is the kind of charity that we want to see. And I'm so, so proud of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and here especially Prince Harry for what he's doing with this organization. He started this quite a while ago and he has been so committed. And, you know, congratulations to him as well as all the other patrons of Santa Bale. We are looking forward to seeing much more from that. So share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. This is a wonderful update for me to share with you. It warms my heart. And before we log off, I want to say special thank you right now to those who support this channel and the videos financially. Thank you so much to my Patreon, PayPal, and my membership supporters for this channel. I would like to highlight a special supporter for this channel. Thank you right now to Lydia Washington. Thank you for your uh, love. I appreciate you so much. Um, I just love the fact that you have chosen to stand with this channel and I want to say thank you. And for all of you who like, comment, and share, thank you so much as well. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Once again, please leave your thoughts about this in the comment section. And I'll also encourage you for the Duchess's 40 by 40 campaign. Leave, if you're comfortable leaving, share with us in the comment section down below what you plan to do for that 40 by 40 campaign. I've promised to update all of you on the steps that you've taken towards this initiative that I think that will be fun to share. And before we log off, in light of all this generosity that we are hearing from, I want to highlight Scotty Brown, who wrote to me and who has always been a longtime supporter of this channel. And he has been so, so um, generous to this channel. And I want to say thank you, Scotty, for helping keep these videos coming. And so Scotty Brown wrote to me concerning the 40 by 40 campaign and Megan's um, call and initiative to empower women. And, you know, I'm so grateful. I want to say Scotty Brown, thank you. He wrote to me and said that he would step up in a way that he has never stepped up before. He believes in what this channel is doing and he pledged his support in a way that just left me absolutely stunned. And he pledged to support this channel on a whole new level pledging to give much more and he was such a blessing to me and he said that he would give a substantial amount to this channel and I want to say thank you so much Scotty you will never fully know perhaps how much you have been a blessing to my life and I'm so grateful that you thought of me so I want to highlight you here Scotty thank you thank you thank you so much for you know participating in the 40 by 40 and as we move forward I will be highlighting more of your own comments on how you plan to you know to step up for the 40 by 40 campaign as well as my own initiatives to do the same so thank you so much Scotty once again so thank you all for watching this video once again leave your comments below leave a like and subscribe if you've not done so thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one have a blessed one